What's up guys, I'm Cypher and welcome back to another video. This video is about my new project Ava, which is a device that mainly scans, copies and replays 350, 433, 868 and 915 MHz signals. I will show you the process of building Deva and we will test its abilities together including the RF scanner and replay attack. You can find the code and documentation for this project on my github, check the link in the description down below. For the microcontroller I used an ESP32 but unlike my past project I decided to use the WROOM 32U. It gives me more space to work with when designing the PCB because of its compact design. I also add a micro SD card slot to store needed data for future updates. For the display, I used an OLED display but for the first time I used the flat cable version and embedded the OLED into the design. Again, it gives me more space to work with and it looks better than the module. We need a way to communicate with the microcontroller to watch the serial monitor and upload the code we wrote. So I added a CP2102 to the design which I also used in my other project named ECP. I should mention I forgot to connect the GND and a few hours after I noticed the problem, I used a thin wire to make the connection. We need 3.3 volts for ESP32 and other components, so I used an LF33 regulator to convert the 5 volt input to the 3.3 volt. Also, in order to provide charging capability for the lithium battery, I used a TP4056, which is a component typically used in my projects. For menu navigation, I used 5 SMD micro switches and a rotary encoder. We need SMA connectors for ESP32 and CC1101 antenna. Also, to make things interesting, I added a NeoPixel LED. Let's not forget about our main component, which is a CC1101. This module is a low cost sub 1 GHz transceiver designed for low power wireless application. Before we dive deeper into the project, I want to give a big shout out to JLC PCB for sponsoring this video. Take your projects to the next level with JLC PCB top quality and competitive pricing. JLC PCB 6 layer PCB feature free via impact, allowing vias to be placed directly in pads. This saves board space, shortens traces, and solves routing challenges. Also prevents solder voids thanks to plated copper coating. Simply head over to jlcpcb.com, upload your PCB design files, select your preferences, and your custom PCBs are on their way to you in no time. Click the link in the description down below to grab a $20 coupon for 6 layer PCBs and experience JLC PCBs free via impact technology. And now back to the video. Components are soldered and everything is ready for testing our gadget. But before that, let's make a case for it to make it look better. Of course, I like the front design of the PCB, so maybe in the future I make the parts out of the plexiglass. First day viability makes us able to scan the RF signals and show us the frequencies. It has two different graph types, so you are free to choose between those two. This function is incredibly useful for various applications such as security testing and signal analysis. When Deva scans for RF signals, it detects the frequency in the environment and displays them on the OLED screen and two different types of graphical representation for the scanned signal allows user to choose the display format that best suits for their needs, whether it's more detailed frequency spectrum or a simple graph.
The second Deva ability is Replay Attack, which captures a radio frequency and retransmits it to perform an action that was originally triggered by the captured signal. This feature can be used to test the security of wireless systems such as garage doors, car key fobs, and other remote control devices. I have a few ideas for the future updates of this project and I definitely continue working on Deva. And if you like to be part of this project, commit your code and ideas to its GitHub repository. And that's it for this project and I see you guys in the next video.